Welcome to the showcase of the import of message mappings from SAP Process Orchestration into SAP Integration Suite. This episode of the video tutorial covers how to set up the SAP Cloud Connector to expose the SAP Process Orchestration System, import message mappings from SAP Process Orchestration Enterprise Service Repository, and how to validate it in an integration flow. You can see the message mapping object from SAP Process Orchestration Enterprise Service Repository in the SAP NetWeaver Developer Studio here, which we import into the SAP Integration Suite. We need to deploy PO Security Credentials as a security material, which is required to connect to SAP Process Orchestration System. We need to expose the SAP Process Orchestration Backend System using SAP Cloud Connector for establishing secure connection between SAP Integration Suite and SAP Process Orchestration, which is an on-premise system. We need to add the BTP SUB account, where we have subscribed to the SAP Integration Suite tenant. We need to ensure secure tunnel status is connected, and cloud connector connection is operational. Next step is to add the SAP Process Orchestration System to the cloud to on-premise system mapping. Here we need to ensure that the internal system is reachable. We also need to expose resource paths with proper access policies, so that the SAP Process Orchestration System resources can be accessed from the SAP Integration Suite tenant. As a next step, we configure the details of the Cloud Connector exposed SAP Process Orchestration System in the ES repository configuration of the SAP Integration Suite tenant. As an integration flow resource artifact, we need to import the message mapping artifact from the SAP Process Orchestration Enterprise Service Repository. We can see both message schema and mapping file get imported. Next, we assign the imported mapping definition to the mapping pipeline step of the integration flow. We can also open the mapping definition for any changes and validate the mapping correctness. We have prepared a sample payload for testing the mapping simulation. Now with the sample input payload, 
we can try the mapping simulation to test and ensure message mapping correctness. We upload the input file and trigger the test. We can see that, message mapping test succeeded, and we can see the result as well. We can see that, message mapping imported from SAP Process Orchestration Enterprise Service Repository worked as desired. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it.